Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day this video finds you. It's your boy Jay here, and I'm here to talk to you about Bayonetta 3, okay? Having recently beat this game um, and had a lot of fun playing this. Oh my god, this game is so fun, but it is not without its issues, okay? Um, yes, I did enjoy the heck out of Bayonetta 3, much to the chagrin of Miss Hale, um, but hey, I had an excellent time playing this game, and I just want to talk about uh, you know, what I liked about this game and where I think this game could possibly improve um, and you know why you should consider giving Bayonetta 3 you know the time of day man so uh, yeah without further ado let's talk about Bayonetta 3 the Bayonetta games are character action games what the heck is a character action game glad you asked um, think of Devil May Cry, think of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, think of uh, God of War 1, 2, and 3, right? Kind of uh, hack and slash, 3D beat em up, uh, insane combos, crazy high fast paced combat. Um, yeah, character action games, right? Uh, you push buttons in a specific sequence, you move around in a specific way, you try not to get hit, uh, maybe maybe or maybe not there are um, scores that you you try to keep up you're trying to keep that combo alive as long as possible never take damage and uh, yeah fast fluid frenetic crazy I mean just look at this stuff on your screen right uh, th this what you've seen so far is uh, my gameplay of a very early part of the game so don't worry about spoilers in this video but uh, yeah just absolutely insane over the top action going crazy okay that's what a character action game is and man bayonetta is one of the if not the best series at this you know what i mean like it's just so good so good i, I have so much fun playing these games and watching myself improve and getting better at uh inputting my combos and knowing when to dodge and how to dodge incredible game so yeah bayonetta 3 is great when you're playing the character action parts, right? So we're now approaching one of the, I think, kind of downfalls of Bayonetta 3, and that is, I guess I want to call it a lack of focus, right? About this game to play character action. This game has a lot of different genres in it. I mean, a lot going on. Uh, the, the story is crazy, it takes you all over the place, but there's a whole lot of different genres here. I mean, there's a rhythm game in it. Uh, there's um, elevator action in this game, you know, a little 2D action. Um, th there's just a whole lot going on. Uh, there are he set pieces where like you're going through uh, cities being blown up and stuff. It it's a lot. Of, it's a lot going on, and not all of it is the character action that I really wanted. Uh, some of these segments are really cool, and I do enjoy them. And you know, they they're part of the the platinum charm, right? The over the top. What the hell is going on? Is part of the game. But man, I I do wish sometimes it was a bit more character action. Like I want to push these buttons. I want to you know fight more enemies right and the thing about like bandit 3 is you're fighting these new type of enemies right like the homunculi and whatever um but like bandit 1 and 2 have uh a whole bestiary worth of things to fight and very rarely you'll see them tap back into that right every once in a while you'll find a verse right which is a small segment um where you fight a bunch of enemies and you get graded on that uh, you'll have a verse that features enemies from Bayonetta 1, right? But I wish that came up more often. And if it takes, you know, sacrificing some of the crazier other genres uh, that are in this game, I probably would have enjoyed Bayonetta 3 more than I did. Um, so, yeah, there's, that's one thing. And then another thing I want to talk about is um, the new character, Viola. I do not enjoy playing as Viola as much. Um, her arsenal is not as varied. Um, and then activating her like witch time, which is like a reward, right? You've seen it, you know, pop up a bunch of times in this gameplay so far. Um, if you dodge an enemy attack right before it hits, um, you'll trigger witch time, which is a slow motion mode where Bayonetta still moves at regular speed, but the world around you moves in slow motion, which gives you more time to input a combo, which will deal massive damage, right? So her witch time activates a little differently she has to block rather than dodge but the problem with her needing to block is like yes the timing has to be great but also there's no bats within right so 
even if your timing is a little lax or you got used to the the dodge timing right which is a little bit more forgiving when you're playing bayonetta um you may end up getting hit more often than you think you should so uh, and then Viola's arsenal, like I said, is not as varied as Bayonetta. Bayonetta has so many different options when it comes to weapons and, you know, mix matching with demons and just different styles of play to, to suit you. Whereas Viola has the sword, Cheshire, barehanded, and the knives. And that's it. Like, it doesn't get any different. It's just the kind of same. And I'm like, man, I wish she had more tools. I wish I could have more mix-ups. Uh, when it comes to playing as her, but like all in all, that's just you know my personality kind of seeping through. That's just me saying like I don't particularly enjoy it. Some some people may pick up viola and be like, yo, this is the best thing ever. Forget Bayonetta. But like I've been playing these games uh, since Bayonetta 2 on the Wii U drop, right? And then I played Bayo 1 there, right? They came you know one and two, and uh, I really 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 love playing Bayonetta. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about Bayonetta as a video game, right? So um, you are scored based on your performance in the in, in the various sections of the game, which leads to more replayability, right? Um, I recommend you play through the entire game one time, just kind of getting what you get, um, and then you come back through and try and get the higher scores, right? Try and improve upon your score, which leads you to way 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 more replayability right i mean you're probably gonna spend i don't know 10 15 maybe 20 hours if you struggle uh as you play through the main story and you know you get everything you get you know bayonetta's arsenal increases over time and uh there's like um, a skill tree so to speak where you can you know spend points that way you can upgrade your skills and you'll have access to more combos uh, and more moves that will help you get better scores you know what I'm saying that will help you keep your combo uh, alive longer so that you can get better scores throughout these acts you know so yes you're gonna get a lot of replay value out of this game because goddamn it's so fun and sometimes you just want to feel like a badass and you just want to throw a building at somebody as you saw there uh so <laughs> you know what i mean so it's mad fun um and you're gonna be replaying it a whole hell of a lot i mean this is a game where i might put it down but then i'll pick it back up after a while and just be like yo let me see if i can get this pure platinum let me see if i can get a gold on this time since last time i got silver you know and that's just how these games work so much fun that you just keep on you just keep on wanting to play it um so yeah and even you know bayonet as a concept like look at how badass this lady is bro like man this is so cool right like it's really cool to see uh a, you know a powerful female just kind of wielding her sexuality and you know being super badass and doing these crazy crazy things uh in a video game you know i just love it i love it so much um, but uh, the game isn't without its flaws. I mean, it is on the Nintendo Switch, so uh, it does target a 60 frames per second during the main character action segments. But there are, you know, frame drops, frame dips here and there. But not once did I feel like my performance in playing the game or my enjoyment of the game uh, was, you know, decreased due to the performance of the game, okay? I, I am pleased with the performance of this game. Uh, the camera does kinda get a little crazy sometimes and you know, the screen can get a little busy. It's kinda hard to read and kinda hard to see uh, what's going on because everything is just bigger and bolder and crazier uh, because you've got, you know, the Demon Slave mechanic where, where you can summon these giant creatures. And because you, can, you have access to, to these giant creatures, um, some of the enemies you fight are giant as well like don't even fit on the camera as you know you're running up to them so like an attack may come from off screen and then you get hit and you're like god damn uh i took more damage and now my score is going to be low and now you're kind of frustrated because you think you could have uh maybe done better or gotten a better score if the camera was a bit more forgiving if the camera uh you know really listened to you know you a whole lot better and focused on what you needed to see um but uh yeah other than that man i wholeheartedly wholeheartedly um recommend you give the bayonetta series in general a try right all three games are on switch right now um and that is one of the great things about the switch platform man is that so many entire series are on the switch right via you know remasters of past games plus a new sequel to a series that has you know 
come out. So yes, definitely give the Bayonetta series a try if you're looking for fast, frenetic, over the top, crazy action. If you're a fan of Devil May Cry, why aren't you playing Bayonetta? Did you like God of War 1 through 3? Why aren't you playing Bayonetta? Give it a shot. Um, it, it's it's really fun. And uh, yeah, so drop your comments down below. Tell me what you think of Bayonetta 3. If you've been playing it or uh, maybe this is what you needed to push you over the edge to really give it a shot. Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling about Bayonetta 3 or Bayonetta in general. Okay, and uh, if you're having trouble, sound off in the comments. Maybe I'll do more Bayonetta videos and you know drop drop some tips on you and help you uh, grab those pure platinum scores through your playthrough of Bayonetta 1, 2, and 3. So uh, yes, thank you guys for watching and uh, as always, happy, happy hu hunting? Well, I guess we're not hunting. Uh, I don't know, whip up some wicked weaves for me and kick some demon ass. I'll see you guys next time. Out.